In this video, we're going to talk about who funds political campaigns. Now, I'll give you a really short answer. <laughs> there are people who want to be involved in the political process. There are many different kinds of people who do this. I'm going to tell you who they are. I'm also going to tell you, in case you want to run for office someday, how you can raise money from these very same people. We're going to talk about the importance of family and friends. We're going to talk about ideological groups that get involved with this, party organizations that get involved with this, a certain kind of group that we call investors, and then the special category, and that's why you got to stick to the end of this video, because there's a very special category that's becoming increasingly important, especially in American politics. Okay, the number one source of funding for a political campaign or a political candidate, the very first place they turn at the outset of a political campaign are their family, <laughs> their close friends, and their relatives. Why? Because those are the people who know them best. It's the easiest place for them to raise money. Every candidate, especially those running for the first time, does that in the early stages of the campaign, calling their family, their close friends, their relatives, and saying, hey, I've decided to run for office. I'm hoping you can kick in and help me get this campaign off the ground because I really need your help now more than ever. That is a source of money to almost every single political candidate has ever run for office in any democracy in the world. Second kind of group that funds political campaigns are ideological groups that align with the candidate. So, for example, there are pro-choice groups that give money to candidates. There are pro-life groups that give money to candidates. There are pro-gun groups that give money to candidates. There are gun control groups that give money to the candidates. There are people who are in the fossil fuel industry that give money to candidates. And then there are people involved with the green energy industry that give money to candidates. You name it, there is some organization, there is some group of people in almost any democracy that partake of the political process and support candidates that are aligned with their pet causes and take the right position on issues important to them. They are wealthy, they have lots of resources to give away, and they play for keeps in a political campaign. They make sure that candidates they want to win are well-funded. Third kind of group, and this applies to any democracy where you may be running for office, is most democracies have political parties. They have a structure. They have a hierarchy. They raise money to support candidates of that party. Some of these parties raise a lot of money to support candidates of that party. Their fundraising efforts are ongoing, even in the off-season when there are no elections being held. They have their own donors that they court. And when they get that money, they spend some of it on infrastructure, but they also use some of that to support candidates of their party. They are a major source of money and a critical source of money to many candidates running for election in all almost any democracy. So with the party support usually comes party money and they help fund political campaigns. Oh, incidentally, if you are thinking of running for office and you want a leg up at the start of your journey, I got a book for you that I think you ought to have. The 12 Essential Steps to Preparing for a Political Campaign. The book is yours. It is free. All you have to do is go to the link underneath this video, click it, and it'll be on the way to your mailbox. Fourth kind of group that funds political campaigns in democracies are what I call investors. <laughs> who are investors? Well, they are people who invest in candidates, and they're not politically ideologically driven. What their interest is, is they need access to that candidate after that candidate wins an election. And investors give if they think there is a candidate who might win that they need to be able to get in to see after the election is over. Now, these are people who may have government contracts. These are people who are affected by a decision that a candidate makes. These are people who could be 
adversely impacted if a wrong decision is made that affects their industry. So what they generally do, the investors, is if they see a competitive race, they'll give to both candidates. But it is undeniable that people who fit this category, who are investors, are a major source of funding in most political campaigns. There is this next category we're gonna talk about. This is what I was alluding to at the beginning of this video. It's the number of people in democracies, and especially the American democracies, just rank and file voters who are moved to support a candidate to the point where they voluntarily take out their credit card and send that candidate money. It has become a major source, small dollar contributions, a major source of campaign funding in the United States, small dollar donors. And they do it by the millions. Now, what motivates them? It could be that they really, really like a candidate and they want that candidate to win, but they may have a different reason for doing it. And sometimes they give to a particular candidate because they really, really, really don't like the person running against that candidate. So it goes both ways. It's still green, it still spins. So if you were involved with a race where you're running against a controversial person that has annoyed a lot of people, you too can raise money from people who simply want to see that person retired from public life. These are the major sources of campaign funding in democracies and especially the United States. Now, to get the money, you gotta ask for it. So how do you let people know that you need it if you're running for office? You can send text messages. All you need is a list of uh, cell phone numbers to ask people for money. You can run digital ads saying, you need the money, please support this campaign. This is what I'm fighting for. Won't you please give to me today? Gee, we're almost close to our goal this month. Just a few dollars more, can you help us get there? This is done incessantly at election time, and it is a perfectly legitimate way to raise small dollar money. There are additional ways to raise campaign cash. You can send people letters and ask them to send you money. One to three page letters explaining why you want the job, what you're going to do with you to get it, what you're going to do with it if you get it, and why it's important to them. You can do organized events. We call them cocktail parties, dinner parties, celebrity events where you bring in a famous athlete or a famous singer or a famous author who will come be the guest of honor at your celebrity event. You sell tickets to that and you can raise money that way as well. These answer the basic question about who funds political campaigns, but all of these are also available to you if you are going to run for office. So if you plan to run for office and you would like to know more about this subject, I'm going to suggest you go to my YouTube channel and type in how to raise money in a political campaign where we do a deep dive into that subject.